hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel in this video i'll show you how to create these indicator icons on your profile so i have a simple page where um, it contains list view with a horizontal and vertical view and all these profiles have indicators say for example if you're building a chat application or if you have any application which has user profiles and if you want to indicate their status whether they're available or busy or away you can definitely use this and i'm going to use position widget to do, do this and also show you how to achieve this circle and this is a square so definitely you can play around with the shape of these status indicator using position widget and i'll show you how to do it so first let me clear the template and we will start implementing it all right so first to start up with, I have very bare bone project of my Flutter application here, which has an app bar. So in the body section, I'm going to use a column and a list view. But uh, before that, I'll have to first look at this design. When I see, I can see that this occupies a quarter of my screen and the list view uh, takes the rest of the screen. So thinking about it, you can think about expanded widget with a flex property. So if you haven't watched my video on Expanded, I'll leave a link in the description. Definitely watch it so that you will have an idea as to how to use the Expanded widget. So here I'm going to use an Expanded widget. So, so for my first component, it's, I'm going to give a flex value of 1 because it's going to be, it's, go, it's occupying a very minimal space. So I'm going to say Expanded with a flex factor of one and then my child is nothing but a list view which is a horizontal list view so so it's so the scroll direction is horizontal here axis and i'm going to say horizontal there you go and now to add my um, details of my profile, I've created a profile.dat file uh, with a simple constructor and I've added all the details of the um, profile here. So I'm just picking it up from there. And uh, so for that, I'm going to say children. Okay. And instead of widget, I'm going to say profiles map. And I'm going to give the profile details and I'm using functional expression and I'm converting it to a list I'm going to say profile this is a function where I'm defining how my profiles have to be displayed so this is a custom function and uh, I'm passing my profile inside it and I'm going to say to list okay I think I'm missing a braces here okay there you go okay and I'm gonna say to list so I think it has to end here and not here there you go so this will give my horizontal list view. Similar way, I'm going to define my other expanded list with a flex factor of 2. And it's going to pick a different one, uh, which is, um, I think I have defined it a different function, which is just profile list. And I'm passing the same profile. So we will define these functions now. Okay, I have defined this function, which takes a profile as the parameter. And this is a container which has a column widget and a stack. Make sure that whenever you use position widget, you need to stack it. Okay, that's very important. So I'm using a stack widget and inside that my first one is my circular icon. That is the one that displays the image. So if you've seen my most of my videos, I've used the circle avatar image and I've achieved using this border radius circle and I've added the image inside it. So I use this, I'm just using the image from the other file and with a container with a box shape circle. Now, now moving on to my position widget. 
so this is where I'm going to define my position widget and the color so first thing I'm going to say position and this one is nothing but the text that is the name of your profile so between these two things and inside my stack comes my position widget so inside the position I'm going to say top 20 and um, right I'm gonna say 10 so when I do this and okay I'm gonna say I'm gonna show you what this uh, top and right I'm talking about so this particular indicator you can definitely define it at this top right corner or the bottom corner or the bottom right or top left or bottom left so it's totally your choice and uh, here I've defining it at the top and right corner so that's what I'm talking about these axes next I need a child and this child is nothing but a container now what is this container it's nothing but a container with width of 13 and height of 10 so that this is the one that actually defines your indicator size because it's purely a container and the container is nothing but a box decoration in case if you already have a predefined icon that you want to display say for example you want to display a star on the profile you can definitely do it so instead of this container please feel free to use your image and I'm going to give a color and the color comes from my profile which I've already defined and I'm going to give the status here and next I'm going to give a border radius and the border radius is circular with a radius of 20 so it's a double yeah so this is how you define your position widget inside your stack which has a container of image and profile name so when you do this I'm going to build this and show you how it looks so there you go I have built this and you can see that um, it's an horizontal list view and if you scroll you can see your pictures with the indicator so you can see it's a circle because I've given a, a width of 13 and 13 the higher the width and height you get a different shape now so we have defined just the um, one section of the page we're going to define the other part of the page which is another expanded widget so I'm going to use a flex factor of 2 for it and uh, the profile list so I've already added it and I'm adding a divider just to ensure that there is kind of a separation between both the list views and I've defined the same profile with same images it's just that I've added um, a material to give that um, slight shadow effect so I've used this in my chart video also uh, which is nothing but a shadow with a material widget and the rest all remains the same which is the stack and inside the stack I've used the position so similar way I've done my other list view so I'm going to do a quick restart and you would see the difference here Well, there you go it's also a list view but only thing is that the uh, the details are placed in the row fashion and this is in the column fashion and you can see the icon is a square because I have provided a width of 15 and a height of 15 if you see my other one it's not okay not the width and height I mean the yeah the width and height is 15 here and here I have provided the width and height as 13 so that small difference gives the indicator either circle or square so this is a very simple but definitely useful um, topic as to how to use a circle indicator using position widget so hope you like the video please give it a like and subscribe and if you find this informative please do share it thank you